Hello, Princeton and Fayetteville. Welcome back to Miss Boyd's class. All right, we are doing lesson 76 today. I'm going to make up statements. Some of these statements are true and some are false. You tell me about each statement. Chickens give milk. True or false? Get ready. Yes, false. You cannot eat clothing. True or false? Get ready. Yes, true. Shoes can be made of leather. True or false? Get ready. Yes, true. Monkeys do not have wings. True or false? Get ready. Yes, true. You can keep a car in a garage. True or false? Get ready. Yes. True. Your turn. Make up a statement about shoes that is true. Get ready. Yes. You could have said something like, we wear shoes to walk around. Everybody, that statement is, get ready. Yes, true. Your turn. Make up a statement about shoes that is false. Get ready. Yes, you could have said something like, shoes can fly. Everybody, that statement is, get ready. Yes. False. Okay, listen to this story. The pilot was flying an airplane. She saw a big storm coming, so she landed the airplane at an airport. After the pilot landed, the passengers got out of the airplane. Listen again. The pilot was flying an airplane. She saw a big storm coming, so she landed the airplane at an airport. After the pilot landed, the passengers got out of the airplane. Tell what the pilot was flying. Get ready. Yes, an airplane. Tell where the pilot landed the airplane. Get ready. Yes, at an airport. Tell who got out of the airplane. Get ready. Yes, the passengers. Tell why, why the pilot landed. Get ready. Yes, because she saw a big storm coming. Tell when the passengers got out of the airplane. Get ready. Yes, after the pilot landed. Great job on keeping up with those. We're moving on. Give yourself some student points. We're going to talk about today tomorrow, and one week from today. Tell me the day of the week it is today. Get ready. Yes, Wednesday. Tell me the day of the week it will be tomorrow. Get ready. 
Yes, Thursday. Tell me the day of the week. It will be one week from today. Get ready. Yes, Wednesday. Now the dates. Tell me today's date. Get ready. Yes, Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. Tell me the date it will be one week from today. Get ready. Yes, Wednesday, April 29th, 2020. Tell me today's date once more. Get ready. Yes, Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. Tell me tomorrow's date. Get ready. Yes, Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. Tell me the date it will be one week from today. Get ready. Yes, Wednesday, April 29th, 2020. Give yourself a round of applause. You made it through that one. I'm going to tell you about an object you know, but I'm going to call it a funny name. See if you can figure out what object I am talking about. A whoop is an animal. Say that. Get ready. Yes, a whoop is an animal. A whoop lives on a farm. Say that. Get ready. Yes, a whoop lives on a farm. A whoop lays eggs. Say that. Get ready. Yes, a whoop lays eggs. Everybody say all the things you know about a whoop. Get ready. Yes, a whoop is an animal. A whoop lives on a farm and a whoop lays eggs. Everybody tell me what kind of animal I am calling a whoop. Get ready. Yes, a chicken. I couldn't fool you, it is really a chicken. How do you know a whoop is a chicken? Get ready. Yes, because a chicken is an animal, it lives on a farm, and it lays eggs. All right, we're going to make up two analogies. We're going to make up analogies about a purse and a bottle. Which containers? Get ready. The first, yes, a purse and a bottle. <laughs> the first analogy tells what the containers are made of. 
What is a purse made of? Get ready. Okay, you could have said something like leather. What is a bottle made of? Get ready. Great, you could have said something like glass. A purse is to leather as a bottle is to Get ready. Yes, glass. Say that analogy about a purse in a bottle. Get ready. Yes, a purse is to leather as a bottle is to glass. Listen, a purse is to leather as a bottle is to glass. Does that analogy, excuse me, tell what you put in the containers? Get ready. No. Listen, a purse is to leather as a bottle is to glass. Does that analogy tell where you find the containers? Get ready. No. Listen, a purse is to leather as a bottle is to glass. Does that analogy tell what the containers are made of? Get ready. Yes. We made up an analogy that tells what the containers are made of. The next analogy tells what you put in the container. What do you put in a purse? Get ready. Yes, you could have said something like money. What do you put in a bottle? Get ready. Yes, you could have said something like water. A purse is to money as a bottle is to... Get ready. Yes, water. We made up an analogy that tells what the containers are made of. Then we made up an analogy that tells what you put in the containers. Let's see if you can say both those analogies. Think. Say the analogy that tells what the containers are made of. Get ready. Yes, a purse is to leather as a bottle is to glass. Think. Say the analogy that tells what you put in the containers. Get ready. Yes, a purse is to money as a bottle is to water. Give yourselves a round of applause. Great job. All right. A man wants to make a fence. Are some fences made of cloth? Get ready. No. What's absurd about a fence made of cloth? Get ready. Okay, you could have said something like, it would not stand up in the wind. It would blow in the wind, right? It wouldn't be strong. The wind would blow it down. Everybody, are some fences made of glass? Get ready. No. What's absurd about a fence that's made of glass? Get ready.
Yes, you could have said something like, it would break, right? Everybody, are some fences made of metal? Get ready. Yes. What can metal, why, I'm sorry, why can metal be used to make fences? Get ready. That's right. You could have said something like, it's strong and it won't fall down. You'll listen to this story and tell me what's absurd about it. A boy put his fish on a leash. What did he do with his fish? Get ready. Yes, he put it on a leash. Then he went for a walk with his fish. Where did he go with his fish? Get ready. Yes, for a walk. Now, tell me some things that are absurd about this story. Get ready. That's right. You could have said something like, fish cannot breathe outside of water. And you cannot put a fish on a leash, right? Those are some things that you could have said. Okay, great job. Now you should be on your worksheet. Remember, we are on lesson 76 today. You should be on the first page of your worksheet. I, I would show you, but I'm not sure you'd be able to see it. The first page of your worksheet. Okay, make sure that your name is at the top. You're going to write sentences that tell what the characters did in the pictures. The words are written at the top of the page. Touch the picture of a mouse. Get ready. The words in that box say a mouse. Everybody, what words? Get ready. Yes, a mouse. Touch the last box. Get ready. The words in that box are jumped over. What words? Get ready. Yes, jumped over. That's what the characters did in pictures one and two. Everybody touch picture one by the top arrow. Get ready. Who is jumping in that picture? Get ready. Yes, sweetie. Sweetie is jumping over something. What's Sweetie jumping over? Get ready. Yes, a mouse. Everybody, say a sentence that tells what Sweetie did in picture one. Get ready. Yes, Sweetie jumped over a mouse. Your turn. Write that sentence on arrow one. Remember, Sweetie's name begins with a capital S. Now, you're going to write a sentence for picture two. Who is jumping over Sweetie in that picture? Get ready. Yes, honey. Write a sentence that tells what honey did in picture two. Picture three. 
is not finished. Somebody is supposed to be jumping over honey, but nobody is jumping over her in the picture. Your turn, write a sentence for picture three. You can write a sentence that uses any name we haven't used. Write your sentence. Okay, now we are moving on to the next worksheet for this week. You should be on this page right here. All right, touch the picture that shows only one kind of thing. Get ready. What kind of thing is that in the picture? Get ready. Yes, saws. Touch the picture that shows more than one kind of thing. Get ready. Raise your hand if you can figure out the name of the class shown in that picture. Get ready. Everybody, what's the name of that class? Get ready. Yes, tools. Listen, the class that is larger is the class that has more kinds of things. What does the class that is larger have? Get ready. Yes, more kinds of things. Everybody circle the class that is larger. Get ready. Everybody touch the picture of the class that is smaller. Get ready. How many kinds of things are in the class that is smaller? Get ready. Yes, one. The saws in that picture of the smaller class should be blue with red handles. What colors? Get ready. Yes blue with red handles. Mark a saw in that picture. Get ready. Touch the picture that shows the larger class. Get ready. The saws in the picture of the larger class should be yellow with brown handles. What colors? Get ready. Yes, yellow with brown handles. Mark a saw in that picture. Get ready. Okay, we are on the second half now the second half of that worksheet. The pictures show something and what it holds. Touch the barn. Get ready. The picture that's right below shows what it holds. Everybody, what does a barn hold? Get ready. Yes. Cows, tell me about a barn. Get ready. Yes, a barn holds cows. Touch the birdhouse. Get ready. One of the pictures below shows what it holds. Touch the picture that shows what a birdhouse holds. 
Let's get ready. Everybody, what does a birdhouse hold? Get ready. Yes, birds. Tell me about a birdhouse. Get ready. Yes, a birdhouse holds birds. Listen, a barn holds cows as a birdhouse holds birds. Say the analogy about a barn and a birdhouse. Let's get ready. Yes, a barn holds cows as a birdhouse holds birds. Draw a line from the birdhouse to what it holds. And once you do that, you have finished your week five lessons. Great job, and I'll see you next week. Bye.